hello how to solve for x and y in this equation x plus y is equal to 5 x y is equal to 25 solution then from here x plus y is equal to 5 let's call this equation 1 x y is equal to 25 let's call this equation 2 from equation 1 from 1 y is equal to 5 minus s let's call this equation theory then we can now substitute this equation theory into our equation 2 then from 2 s y is equal to 25 when y is equal to 5 minus s, we have s bracket 5 minus s is equal to 25. Then s times 5, this is 5x minus x times s, that is minus s square is equal to 25. Then we have 5x minus s square minus 25 is equal to 0 then we can rearrange this we have minus s square plus 5x minus 25 is equal to 0 let's multiply all through by minus 1 that is multiply this by minus 1 and multiply this by minus 1 So this become s square minus 5s plus 25 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation which can be solved using quadratic general formula. And our quadratic general formula is given as s is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 5 and then c is equal to 25 let's substitute now let's consider the discriminant b square minus 4ac is equal to minus 5 square minus 4 multiply by 1 multiply by 25 this is equal to 25 minus 100 then b square minus 4 ac is equal to minus 75 then we can plug it this into this formula that is s is equal to minus bracket minus 5 plus or minus square root of minus 75 divided by 2 multiplied by 1 s is equal to 5 plus or minus square root of minus 75 can be written as 25 multiply by 3 multiply by minus 1 divided by 2 then s is equal to 5 plus or minus square root of 25 is 5 then square root of minus 1 is i then we have root 3 i divided by 2 therefore x1 is equal to 5 plus 5 root 3 i divided by 2 or x2 is equal to 5 minus 5 root 3i 
divided by 2. We've gotten the value of x1 and x2. We can solve for y1 and y2 using equation 3. Then from equation 3, y is equal to 5 minus x. Then y1 is equal to y1 is equal to 5 minus x1 then y1 is equal to x1 is we have 5 minus 5 plus 5 root 3 i divided by 2 then y1 will be equal to 10 minus 5 then minus 5 root 3i divided by 2 y1 is equal to 10 minus 5 this is 5 minus 5 root 3i divided by 2 now let's solve for y2 also y2 is equal to 5 minus s2 then y2 is equal to 5 minus s2 is 5 minus 5 root 3 i divided by 2 y2 is equal to 10 minus 5 plus 5 root 3i divided by 2 then y2 is equal to 5 plus 5 root 3i divided by 2 therefore our final answers are s1 comma y1 is equal to s1 is we have 5 plus 5 root 3 i divided by 2 comma y1 that is 5 minus 5 root 3 i divided by 2 and then s2 comma y2 is equal to 5 minus 5 root 3 i divided by 2 comma 5 plus 5 root 3 i divided by 2 these are the final answer we can check to confirm if this answer is right or wrong let's check to check we have the given equation s plus y is equal to 5 then s y is equal to 25 now let's consider this force from either equation from either s1 y1 or s2 y2 then s plus y is equal to 5 plus 5 root 3 i divided by 2 plus 5 minus minus 5 root 3 i divided by 2 must be equal to 5 this will cancel this then we have 5 plus 5 this is 10 divided by 2 must be equal to 5 2 here 1 2 here 5 therefore the left hand side 5 is equal to right hand side 5 which is true
let's consider the product xy is equal to 25 then we have 5 plus 5 root 3i divided by 2 multiplied by 5 minus 5 root 3i divided by 2 must be equal to 25 so if you express this we have 5 square minus 5 square root of 3i all square must be equal to 25 then this is 5 square minus 25 multiplied by 3 multiply i square is equal to minus 1 then everything must be equal to 25 and we are dividing by 2 times 2 that is 4 here is 4 and here is 4 then this is 25 plus 75 divided by 4 must be equal to 25 then here we have 100 divided by 4 must be equal to 25 100 divided by 4 so oh, this is 25 is equal to 25 which is true i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel Bye.